in today's class, we are coming at you from Costa Rica, surrounded by the jungle, and I am hoping the howler monkeys come out so that you can hear them during our practice today. we are going to be focusing on our core and continue to keep bringing everything back to the center. If you happen to have a block or a pillow, go ahead and grab that. And let's just start with a comfortable seated position. I want you to bring one hand to your chest, one hand just above your belly button. Close those eyes or find a focal point in front and take a couple of gentle breaths. And just asking yourself how you're feeling, what you're noticing, What is something that you want to work on throughout today's practice? Or what is something that your body is needing? And really keep bringing it back to your core. We can connect our core to so many different parts of our body. So I really want you to pay attention and notice what you feel throughout today's practice. Let's take another nice gentle breath in. And with our breaths, we're focusing, breathing around our rib cage, front, back, center, gentle breaths. And with our exhales, practicing blowing out, blowing out candles through those pursed lips. Let's take one more breath in here. And exhale, let it all out. Just taking in exactly what you are needing during today's practice. Gently open up those eyes and let's come down onto your side. Start on our right hand side. And you're gonna start with your left hand behind your head. That left leg is gonna extend behind us. Left elbow comes down towards the ground, reach your left heel behind, getting some movement in our spine. And then inhale, open up, spin that chest back and kick your leg in front. And then spin the chest forward, leg goes back, just nice and gentle and kind of exploring what you're feeling as we're starting. Maybe your pace is a little faster than mine or a little slower. Ooh, this is going to be a hot one today. Already feel it heating up. <laughs> I hope once we get into it, you heat up as well, too. Good, sweet back. Nice work. One more time. Sweep, come forward. And then bring it backwards. Nice. We're gonna prop up, come up onto that right hand, come up into a side plank, take that left arm, sweep your left arm all the way up overhead, left leg extends out, rib cage drops over your pelvis, nice breath in as you lengthen out, exhale, blow out those candles, kind of feel pubic bone up towards your belly button. And we're not gripping and holding our core the, tight in the entire time, it's constantly relaxing and then activating. We're gonna spin everything down. Take your left knee down, take that left arm, reach your left arm underneath the right. Inhale, press, lift back up, extend, reach out. Take your time, noticing how that core is firing up throughout. Reach underneath. Nice, two more times, lengthen, use that breath. Sweep it back down. and press and lift, come back up. Really working on our trunk mobility is super helpful for our core. It gets our breathing muscle, that diaphragm working a little bit. More mobility and room for it to lengthen. Nice job. And we're gonna bring everything back down. Come down to a seated position. If you've got that yoga blocker pillow, you're gonna bring it in front. We're gonna stay lifted through your tailbone, lifted through your chest. Your heels can stay on the ground. You can lift them coming up. But we want to work on that exhale as we twist. You're gonna squeeze the blocker, the pillow. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, bring it to center. Exhale, twist. and finding your pace to fire up that core. Gently going from one side to the next and stay with your breath. 
blowing out those candles. Like you're blowing through a straw for five, four, what part of your core are you feeling? We don't want to feel lots of pressure pushing down. It's that gentle lifting up. Three, two, last one. Nice job. Let's place the block off to the side and come up into the side plank on the left. So that left hand comes down, right arm reaches up, right leg lengthens. Use your breath. Reach fingertips to toes. We're trying not to have this big arch, so we're keeping that rib cage over your pelvis. Slowly drop it down and take that right arm, reach your right arm underneath. Peel your chest, lift, come back up. Exhale, sweep, reach underneath. It's in those transition, what is your body needing? What are you wanting? What can you connect with your core? Sweep, come underneath, awesome job. We've got one more. Nice job. Pull yourself, come back up. And we're going to come all the way down onto our left hand side. Take your right leg, kick that right leg back behind. Right hand comes behind the back of your head. Right elbow is down towards the ground. Reach through that back heel. And then we're going to kick the right leg in front. Spin your chest towards the sky. Exhale, elbow to the ground. Reach your heel back behind you. Feel the glutes fire up. And then sweep that leg in front. Exhale, kick back behind. Reach through your heel, lengthen. And sweep in front. Nice work. For three. Two. Last one. And bring everything back and come back to that seated position. We're gonna grab hold of that block one more time. So heels can stay down, you can stay lifted, block in between your hands. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze the block and twist. Inhale, back to center, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Again, those legs can be lifted. Oof. I'm like sitting right on a root. <laughs> stay lifted and twist. Really working my core from side to side and listening to your body, what feels best for you so that you can really feel that core. You can back things down and make a simple core exercise so challenging just by using your breath. Five, four, three, nice work, last one. Good, let's place that block off to the side and then however you wanna to get to the front of your mats. Come on up to standing. And just taking a moment, place one hand on your chest, one hand above that belly button and check in. What are you needing? How are you connecting with your core? What are you feeling? Keep coming back to that breath. Take a nice big breath in, sweep those arms, lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Press into that left foot, take your right foot, step your right foot back behind you. Drive through that back heel. Keep pressing into the feet, sweep those arms, come all the way up overhead. You're gonna exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center, press the palms, you can twist to face the left hand side as you drive through the back heel. Option two is take that right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Keep pressing through your back heel, press those palms together. Exhale, blow out those candles. Feel your core. So we're gonna be moving in and out of two positions. So this is our starting one. Take your time getting there. We're gonna slowly start to unwind. Press into your left foot option, toe tap. As our hands come behind our head, you could also have a hand come to a wall. Bring that right knee towards your chest. Try to think of left elbow towards your right knee. Slowly bring it back, hands to heart center. Woo, as I topple over, step it back. Come to your twist. You can stay up or elbow to knee. Press those palms, use your breath. 
unwinding. Press into your left foot, take off toe tap, hands behind the head. Think of elbow knee. You wanna be careful you're not way back here. Get that rib cage over your pelvis, drive into your left foot and check, are you gripping those toes? Can you relax the toes? Step it back, find your twist. Now you can go at your own pace. Maybe you really slow it down or maybe you pick it up. Find what's working best for you today. Oof, and hello, left glutes. <laughs> Twist to that left hand side. And when you push, you're not pushing off this back leg. The left leg does all the work. Nice job. Two more times here. Step it back. Last one. What are you feeling with that core? Nice, now we're gonna slowly step it back. Do you wanna bring your block with you? We're gonna turn our right foot to face the back of our mat, coming into a warrior two stance. Lengthen through the front heel, you can bring your block just in between those legs. Folding forward, press down into the block, lift that tailbone towards the sky. If you want, you can come up onto those right toes and we're gonna take your right arm, reach your right arm towards the sky. Keep pressing into that left arm. Gaze can be down or gaze can be up. Nice, take one more breath in here. Slowly lower that right arm, lower that right heel if it was lifted. We're gonna slowly work our way back towards the front of our mat, coming into a low twisted lunge. Right hand down to the ground, left arm goes to the sky. Hold for a breath, check in that core. Ooh, I just heard a couple howler monkeys. They're like, go, connect with that core. <laughs> nice. Take the left leg, we're gonna sweep that left leg back coming into wild thing. You can also drop down onto that right knee, listening to your body. Nice breath in. And then exhale, lower down onto that right hip. We're facing the back of our mats. You're gonna take your right leg, just kidding, left leg. Take your left leg, cross your left leg over your right. Inhale, lengthen up, and we're gonna twist over towards the left hand side. You can keep holding that left leg with your right hand. You could also take your right elbow to the outside and that left hand comes behind. We're working on lengthening out, rotating from that trunk. Nice, take one more breath in here. And then slowly unwinding, take your right hand behind you, Roll onto that right side and press those hips come up towards the sky. The right knee could also be down on the ground. Really just listening for what works best for you in your practice. One more breath here. Whew. Extra toes to now, spin it back down, come into plank pose. Plank on your knees, plank on those toes. Slowly lower everything all the way down. Inhale, open up through that chest cobra. Gentle squeeze of those glutes, broaden through your chest. Child's pose or down dog. Two breaths here. Really let it go and ask, what are you needing? What does your body need during your practice? What does it need once you come off your mat? What can you give it on your mat to help support your body? And then whenever you're ready, start to make your way towards the front of your mat. Pressing into those feet, lift everything, come all the way up. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Take one hand to your chest, one hand above that belly button and check in. How do you feel? What do you notice? And here we go on the other side. On your next inhale, sweep those arms, lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. We'll take our left leg, step your left leg back. Press down into those feet, pull your right hip back. Inhale, sweep those arms, lift all the way up overhead. We're gonna bring your hands in towards heart center. As we start to hinge forward, you can stay up and twist. On the exhale, press those palms. It'll connect with your core a little more. 
You can take your left elbow to the outside of your knee. Press those palms together. Spin your chest towards the sky. Nice. Take one more breath in here. And you know where we're going. Slow transition. Right leg does all the work. Press into that right foot. Toe tap with the left. Hands come behind the head or that left knee towards your chest. Think of taking your right elbow towards your left knee. Nice job. And then slowly take it back. Hands to heart center. That twisted high lunge. Press the palms together. Open through your chest. Nice breath in. Slowly unwinding, press into your right foot. Hands come behind your head. Twist. Use your breath. Slowly step it back. Nice breath in. Unwind, press into that right foot. Pull yourself, come up. Making sure rib cage stays stacked over your pelvis. We're pressing down through the mound of the big toe, not gripping with those toes. When we grip with the toes, it's a sign our body's looking for stability somewhere. Do you notice that it's different from left to right side? I always have to work much harder and think about it on the other side. Good, last one here. Drive through that back heel. Press into the right foot, come up. Twist to face that left hand side. Nice job. Slowly step it back. And we're going to have warrior two feet facing the back of our mat. If you want to grab hold of that block, place the block right in between. Lengthen through that front thigh. Hinge to fold forward. Press into those hands. Take your left arm. Spin your left arm towards the sky. And you can come up onto those left toes if you would like. But again, finding what works best for you. Nice. Use your breath. Awesome, one more breath here. And then slowly lower everything all the way back down. We're gonna stay nice and low, spin to face the front of your mat. Take that left hand down to the ground, spin your right arm open towards the sky. Drive through your back heel, nice, breath in. Exhale, let it go. See if you can twist a teeny bit more. And then we'll slowly step it back, coming to your wild thing. That left knee can be down. Press those hips towards the sky. Use your breath. And then slowly lower down onto that left hip facing the back of our mat. Take your right leg. We're going to scoot our right leg on top of our left. Reach through the left heel. Both hands can come in and you can pull and lengthen out. Or you can take that left hand to the outside, turn to face the side. Or lifting through the crown of your head, exhale, rotating. Nice job, take one more breath in here. And then slowly unwinding. Left hand comes back to face the front. We're gonna roll onto the left side. Press into that right foot and lift yourself, come up. That left knee could also be down, coming here. Shoulders stacked, hips stacked. Nice, and then spin it back down, plank pose. Plank on your knees, plank on those toes. Exhale, lower everything all the way down. Inhale, open up through that chest. Nice breath in. Exhale, lower down. Curl those toes underneath, down dog or child's pose. Two breaths in here. Take in what you need. Exhale, let go of what you don't. Check in, connect with your core. Exhale, let it go. As you inhale, think of the breath going all the way down to your sit bones. And then on that next breath in, pull yourself, come forward. Let's make our way, come down onto your backs. Extra sticky, my mic is like 
sticking to me. All right, come all the way down to your backs. Place your hands just at the bottom of your rib cage. Take a couple gentle breaths in. So we worked out our core, our pelvic floor. Now doing some gentle relaxation, lengthening. So important after core, core work. So you're gonna take that left knee, grab behind the back of your left knee, pull your left knee towards your left shoulder. You could also grab the outside of that foot coming into half happy baby. Thinking of that knee going down, use your breath. Maybe you gently rock from side to side. Opening up those hips. Hear the howler monkeys. They're so relaxing. I just love sitting out and listening to them. Let's take one more breath in here. And slowly letting go of that. And then we'll switch. Pull that left knee, left right knee, <laughs> right knee toward your right shoulder. Grab the outside of your foot. Gently pulling down, use your breath here. How is this side different than the other side? What do you notice? Gently rocking from side to side. Send that breath all the way down. Ooh, I'm so glad the howler monkeys came out. Hope you can hear them. One more breath. And then let's lower that right leg down. Lengthen out. Take a nice big breath in. Stretch those arms all the way up overhead. Reach through those fingertips. Amazing work connecting with your core. Grounding down, being outside. Let it all go. Slowly bring those hands back down by your side. Slowed things down. Took time on your mat for what you needed. Slide those legs back in. Gently bring it on to your side. Make your way, come all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Let's take one last cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Thanking your body for your practice. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.